Well, as you can see, I have uh, another guitar here in the mix. Uh, actually, looks like a shotgun on this side. Uh, but when you turn it around, you can see it is no longer a shotgun. It is a guitar. Uh, some of the things that uh, we did to this guitar is uh, I have the string adjustment here. I went with an oversized. Uh, I like to use heavier strings on my guitars. I have a, uh, instead of a piece of bone, I have a piece of a uh, dowel insert used in woodworking. Uh, welded the base of a uh, channel clamp for a small chain to hold it. Uh, the barrel itself, um, based on the fact that the pickups had to be mounted here, uh, you weren't going to be able to play the guitar back here where you think you might because of the shape here. So the string would have ended up in the midair right in this area. So I added length to the barrel with a what looks like uh, some kind of a flash suppressor. So I actually added about seven inches of length to the barrel, which makes for a good bass uh, string sound. So moving along here, we have the pickups. That was interesting. Uh, they are inset into the uh, wooden portion of the stock up here, the hand grip, uh, and had to do some grinding on the inside and the, on the barrel and some of the metal framework inside this hand grip uh, to get that laid in there. And the alignment, uh, this is a fixed point up here in the front, and this had to go right here. So the alignment of the string happens with uh, this piece here. It also keeps it, it's adjustable, so you can get the right height uh, here above your pickup. Uh, but it also allowed the string to be in alignment with the barrel, right on top of the pickup. Here we have our our dials uh, for volume and tone, real simple setup. Um, and the wires are hidden nicely, uh, except for this one wire here, um, but it's a black wire, and I will put some epoxy on that to hold it in place. But you can actually still hold it like a shotgun uh, this way, or flip it around and play it like a guitar. And here's where the amp hooks up in the buttstock uh, on the shoulder mount there and I had to do a little fabrication work to make a plate for it ran the wire inside comes out here goes into this nice little box which was a piece of uh, something that was left over from uh, maybe a, a bracket of some kind that I chopped up a little bit and then this piece of rubber is just to tidy it up so you don't see the the wires on the inside uh, and it comes off real easily. A uh, little soldering required in this uh, to get things back together. And now it's ready to play. <laughs> 